when you're in school, when you're growing up in life, it actually sort of matters to people how you look. And then it matters to you because it matters to others. Why? Why does it matter how you look? Because if they don't like you, then who will? If they don't accept you, then who will? And I started believing that I was not good enough. I started believing that I was a failure. That I'd never ever be somebody who people would like or people would accept. And it was so hard, man. I thought to myself, I, you know, I can't go on, the, go on the soccer field like everybody else. And I can't ride my bike and I can't skateboard and all these sort of things. And I started getting depressed. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, do you, are, are you just here to live to die? I mean, is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure and no one really likes you, no one really cares about you? People don't even look you in the eye. People ask you how you are and you say fine, but you're not fine and they'll know, they'll never know that. I tell you, life is interesting. Life's a journey. See this phone here? Let's say that I want to go to the phone, right? So it's like one step at a time and you take steps in this direction, you take steps in that direction sort of get lost along the way and sometimes you fall down but I tell you there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up you sort of put a mask on your face when you come to school and pretend that everything's okay when it's not and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you when you don't have to impress anybody you're yourself and fear comes in you know the fear that you have as soon as you walk into the doors of your house maybe if it's a broken home maybe you have doubt in your life maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you maybe you're about you maybe you're worried about what people think of you what people say about you just that fear paralyzes you and i just want to ask you today do you think It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. There's still hope. But I had to ask myself a couple questions. And the first question was really, who am I? Who am I? And it's funny how the friends around you sort of determine who you are. You change yourself. So you have a choice to know which step you're going to take today.